don't think anything with Amazon, it should never be a set it and forget it approach, which I think a lot of sellers kind of make that mistake of like, okay, hey, this is converting pretty well. I'm just going to set it and forget it. And then I'll check on it every now and then. And as long as the performance looks decent, then I don't really need to worry about it. And you don't really want to do that. You still want to have some, some type of oversight over it. Even if it's just at a, at a minimum, if you're using software, just check the dashboard every day. Just go log in, make sure it's performing correctly. Everything's meeting your expectations. And, and the beauty is a lot of these softwares, they will provide a summarized report for you. So you can see everything at a glance. You don't have to go granularly and go look at every single campaign. You can see at a glance, even in the Amazon advertising console, it does summarize for you what basically the performance of it. If you're doing things from a manual standpoint, I highly recommend utilizing portfolios in your advertising dashboard. Portfolios is a way to basically kind of categorize your campaigns. Like maybe you want to categorize it by ASIN or by a certain objective. And that way it allows you to, to see the performance overall of that portfolio versus like if you go to your campaign dashboard in Amazon in, in the advertising dashboard, it's going to show you all your campaigns. And so that overall performance, that overall ROAS or, or ACOS may not, it may be a little misleading because what will happen is it'll be skewed. If you have a lot of campaigns for a wide variety of products that are not all in the exact same space or they're all the same, then you're going to see some that are with, with a super, super high ROAS. And you're going to have some, you might have several with a really, really poor performance and a low ROAS and, and maybe upside down that are, you're not, not as visible when you're looking at the overall dashboard. So it is good to try to split that up and categorize it as best you can. So you can get a good sense of how everything's performing. 